Good morning, today's lesson is 5.1. Today we'll be modeling percents. Our essential question, how can you use a model to show a percent? Let's investigate. Not many people drive electric cars today, but one expert estimates that by 2025, 35% of all cars will be powered by electricity. A percent is a ratio or a rate that compares a number to the number 100. Percent means per 100. The symbol for percent looks like this. Model 35% on the 10 by 10 grid and then tell what the percent represents. The large square represents the whole or 100% and each small square represents 1%. So if I'm looking at this grid right here, I have 100 squares. Whoops, I have 100 squares. So if I were to count them, I could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. This is 10 by 10, which is a hundred. So if I'm going to shade the grid to show 35, I've got to think 35% out of a hundred is 35 out of a hundred. So if you can see here, I've shaded 35 squares red out of the hundred. So if you're writing 35% as a ratio comparing 35 to a hundred, you've got to think 35 out of a hundred squares is 35 over a hundred. So 35% is 35 over 100. So by 2025, 35 out of every 100 cars may be powered by electricity. Now if you're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna model 52% on a 10 by 10 grid. So here's my 10 by 10 grid, right here. Let me move it up so you can see a little better. So I have 100 squares and I've colored in 52, right? Because 52 <clears throat> of 100, there we go. So 52 out of 100 squares is 52 over 100. 52% is the same thing as 52 over 100, okay? Same thing if I were to model on an 18%. So if I'm modeling 18% on the 18 by, um, by 10 by 10 grid, I have 18 out of 100. So if I look over here, I have my 100 squares and I have 18 of them colored in then it's 18 over 100, and 18% is 18 over 100. Okay, pretty easy, right? All right, let's draw some conclusions. Explain how you would use a 10 by 10 grid to model the 7%. We just did three other problems, right? So you're gonna shade seven of the 100 squares because 7% is seven of the 100. Right, oops, that's for the next problem. Okay, the next one says model one fourth on a 10 by 10 grid. What percentage is shaded and explain? Well, one fourth is the same thing as 25 over 100 or 25%. So as you can see over here, I've shaded 25 squares out of the 100 to represent the 25%. You can also think about it as quarters, right? A quarter of 100 or a quarter of a dollar bill. There are four quarters, whoops, there are four quarters in one dollar bill, right, which is worth a hundred. So if there are four quarters and each one of those quarters is worth 25 cents, you know, 25 percent. So if money helps you think of it that way, you can use that. All right, number three, use a concrete model. Explain how you could use a model 0.5 percent on a 10 by 10 grid. Well, 0.5 percent is half of one whole percent and one percent is one out of a hundred show you would shade half of one of the squares. So this entire thing, I would only shade half of just this one tiny little square to represent 0.5%. Think smarter. How would you model 181% using a 10 by 10 grid? Okay, think smarter. How would you model 181% using 10 by 10 grids? All right, kind of tricky, but I would shade one complete grid plus 81%, 81 squares of a second grid, right? Because it's 181%, so you actually need 200 to make that happen. Um, make connections. So again, I would have my one, so this is my 100, and I would do that one all the way, and then on this one, I would only, and I can't really, I'm not really doing this, but let's just pretend I did 81 in this one, and I did 100 in that one, and that would give me my 181%. Okay, making connection, connections. The table shows the type of me meteorites in Meg's collection. Shade a grid to show the ratio comparing the numbers of each type to the total number and then write a ratio. So remember to think, a percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100. 
So if we're looking over here, we have iron, which is 21, stone, which is 76, stony iron, which is three. So iron, there's my iron, is 21. So that means 21 out of 100 are iron. And then I can draw it as 21 over 100, 21%, and it count, there should be 21 little squares drawn here. You can do the same for stone and the same for stony iron. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next page. All right, let's write ratios and percentage to represent the shaded part. So if I'm looking right here, I'd have to actually count them, right? We know that each one of these is 10. So I can count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53. So my ratio is gonna be 53 out of 100 or 53%. I'm looking at the next one, whoops, looking at the next one, and they're all shaded. And there's 100 here, right? Because it's 10 by 10. So that's an easy one. That's gonna be 100 out of 100 or 100%. All right, let's do this one because I think they're trying to, uh, to trick you, but we're not gonna let them do that. So again, each one of these rows is 10 because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can count by tens, right? 10, 20, 30, 40. So it's gonna be 40 out of 100 or 40%. All right, the rest I'd like you to do on your own or with a partner. And if you need me, I'll be on the carpet. Good luck.